In this video, I will show you everything you need to know about Java hash map. The video will be short and sweet, so you remember everything. And the first part will be examples, and the second part will be slightly theoretical, but you can skip to which one you need. And let's get started. In order to use the hash map, you need to import it first. So it's located in the Java util and then dot hash map. When you import it, the first thing you need to do is you need to declare which types will be keys and values. So I said that my keys will be a string and my values will be an integer. And then I use the constructor to create a new object and store its reference in here. And every time you use a method, you, you pass it on this reference. It is important to note that you have to use the wrapper classes. So string and integer with big letters like this, you cannot use int or double or something like that for keys and values. They need to be wrapper classes. It has nothing to do with the hash map. It has to do with generics. And once we have created this country codes hash map, now we want to store something. As you can see here, our country is a string and our code is integer. So key and value pairs. It is important to note that you cannot have two same keys. So if we were to write country codes dot put UK and some other value, this one will just get all written. So you can only have one key and one value associated with one key. So let's delete this. And as you can see, this code over here is for adding keys and values to the country codes. As you can see here, the method is put and the first parameter is key and the second one is value and the types are decided here so if you put double here this needs to be a double and if you put an integer here this needs to be an integer so in here you declare the type and in here you just put the values as the method suggests and there's nothing special about that so you just add the values let's say that you need to access uk code so you have a list of countries there's thousands of countries and you need to access a certain code so the way you do that is you say country codes dot get and you pass the key. It is important to know that you cannot access the key value pair using values because values can be all, all of these can have the same value. So we can put one here, but they cannot have the same key. So keys are unique and you have to use the keys to access elements as you can see here. So you get and you pass in the key. Okay, and just like with arrays, you can find the size or the length. So that's how many elements are there in our hash map. Then if you change your mind, you can remove the code. So again, you use the key because you cannot access elements using values. And you just say country codes dot remove and you pass the key. Then again, we print out the size and now this is an interesting part. I'll show this later, but let's run the program so you actually see this in action. Okay, as you can see, so we put some codes in here and we cannot see that on the screen, but the first thing we print out is UK code is and then we print out the code. And as you can see here, this is this part and it is, it is 44. And then we print out the size, it is four as we have added four elements. Then we have removed an item, we removed the UK code, and then we print out the size again, which is 3, because we removed one. And now I'll show you how to iterate over a hash map. So the way you do that is there are two steps. The first step is you need to understand what is Java for each loop. So you need to understand this syntax. This basically says, so for, for each key, which is of value string in so in this data so whatever this is do something okay so for each key which is of value string in this data set do something so that's the first part and the second part is this sweet method of country codes well, actually of hash map, which we use on the country codes, it's country codes dot key set. And it returns the set of keys in our hash map. 
and it is a set because the values are unique and unique and sets in mathematics cannot have double objects so it's a set and then so for each key we print out the key plus country codes get which we showed here get uk and we just pass the key and as you can see when we run the program printing key value pairs this is this part then we say usa france germany because we have removed the uk and then we just clear all so this is used when you need to delete everything so this is really this is really important to understand so for each key of type string in country codes dot key set print out the key and print out the value over here and for the theory part i have selected a few important notes which you can write down or try to remember and if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comments and see you in the next video